Traveling by air is different for everybody. Some love it, some hate it, some look at it simply as the quickest way to get from point A to point B. But regardless of your opinion on flying, one thing we can all agree on is the desire to save time and money. With a new terminal and the recent addition of new air carriers and destinations at Santa Barbara Airport, I thought it would be a good time to see how SBA matches up with those considerations in mind. For the sake of simplicity, I chose to compare SBA to LAX because it's the nearest and most frequently used alternative airport. I also spoke to real travelers to get their opinions. Since the top consideration for most people is cost, let's look at that first. Currently, there are 10 non-stop destinations offered out of SBA, so I used a few of those to compare with LAX. One of the more popular destinations from Santa Barbara Airport is San Francisco. When I checked, a round-trip non-stop flight over the holiday went for $231. The same trip for the same dates traveling from LAX was $131. Checking other flights had similar results, with flights from LAX being slightly cheaper. But not always. For instance, a last-minute flight to Denver from LAX cost $309. That same trip from Santa Barbara was less than half that, at $142. Uh, actually, coming out of Santa Barbara to Denver, it's cheaper, yeah, on Frontier, than LAX. You know, really wasn't that much more. It was maybe like $50 more than flying straight to LA, which uh, when you add up the time and the cost and the traffic and the hassle, I think it's, it's worth a little bit extra. But there's a lot more to air travel than just the fares. Getting to and from the airport is also a big consideration, and nothing exemplifies that better than a trip to LAX. So that's what I'm doing. I've pegged my imaginary flight at 10 a.m., so I got up early to leave four hours before that. It doesn't take long before things slow down. Without traffic, the trip should take about 90 minutes. But today, MAPS is telling me it's going to be over two hours. So we've made it about as far as Reseda and we've hit stop and go traffic. We've still got about 22 miles to go. So if I had a real flight to take, I'd be getting nervous right about now. Finally, I arrive at LAX, but that's only part of the equation. Now I have to park. There are lots of long-term parking options around LAX. However, to keep the comparison apples to apples, I chose LAX's own long-term lot. The cost is comparable at $12 for 24 hours at LAX and $13 at SBA. But one noticeable difference is the proximity to the terminal. SBA's long-term lot is at the terminal and easily walkable. At LAX, you've got to take a shuttle, and that takes more time. But when you do park, what's that experience like compared to, say, LAX? Oh, so easy. You know, you can be driving from my house and be parked and in the terminal in 15 minutes. After mistakenly passing LAX's long-term lot once, I discovered another reason easy parking is so valuable. So we've just encountered another consideration. Their long-term lot is full, so we've got to now find alternative parking. <laughs> The next area to compare is getting to the gate. Ticketing at SBA is low key and quick, even on busy days. Ticketing at LAX, not so much. And we can't do a proper airport comparison without considering the TSA security check. Because it's so much smaller, SBA has short lines, if any, and things move quickly. At LAX, it's a lot longer. You have to get there early because security is a really long line. And here I showed up early and now I'm sitting around for an extra hour because it took me like five minutes to get through. Leaving from Santa Barbara going through security is a breeze compared to going through security in Los Angeles. And just the environment at the Santa Barbara airport is far more relaxed than going through any of the terminals in Los Angeles. So when I travel and I travel a lot, I usually leave out of Santa Barbara whenever possible. For the final comparison category, I chose to look at overall experience. I've recently traveled out of LAX, and while the facilities are fine, the vast size, long lines, and massive crowds can be overwhelming, especially if traveling with children. The experience at SBA, however, is something altogether different. I highly recommend flying out of Santa Barbara. I just can't imagine people going down to LAX. and just I just did it a month ago to take a flight to Istanbul and we got there three hours early and the flight was delayed. 
Leaving from SBA is pleasant because you generally have counter agents and TSA folks that aren't stressed out. You know, they can sit there and talk to you and I think they do a really good job of problem solving when there is an issue that comes up with your flight. In Los Angeles, because the volume is so great, you know, you're just another face in the crowd. The, the people, people, you know, that are working behind the counters, whether it's, we typically fly United, but we've flown American, and it's so much more friendlier here than it is in LAX or O'Hare or any place like that. Super easy, very quick. <laughs> Um, not needing to uh, standard travel, getting to a place two hours prior to to your check-in time. It's just very quick, in and out. You come into the, the airport and you don't even know. It's like, wow, that's, that's going to be easy.